Hello, friends, fellow star seeds, light workers, way showers. It is I, Julie Joy, of the Young Light Workers, with another message from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton for July 28th, 2020. And the title of this message is, If You Want Full ET Contact Sooner Than Later. They begin, We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have been exploring how all of you can live on a world where you do not feel connected as a global society, a global community, even though you have the ability in this day and age to travel to other countries and to connect with people from all across the planet with your internet. We understand how a person can be programmed into believing that the way they grew up was the right way to be in the world, but at a certain age, at a certain level of maturity, it would seem quite natural for all humans to want to explore something different. It would make logical sense for you all to want to get to know other people living in far off lands with different customs, different traditions, different rituals. And of course there are many humans who feel that way, who want to expand their horizons but the vast majority of humans still prefer to be around people who are almost exactly like them. And it is very limiting. It is very challenging for the expansion of the consciousness when a person stays in the town they grew up in and doesn't show any interest in what's happening in the rest of the world. When we look at human history, it begins to make more sense to us because oftentimes there would be an attack on a village, on a community. And that attack would come from outsiders, from people who didn't look or talk or act like the villagers who were under attack. And so what you are there to do now is process those fears. You need to process your fear of the unknown, of the outsider, if you are going to be ready for full extraterrestrial contact. If you think that people who live thousands of miles or kilometers away are scary because they are different, then how is a person who thinks that way going to handle an extraterrestrial from another star system? Once again, it is up to you as the Awakened Collective to lead the way, to show others the path to getting past those fears. You need to set the very positive example by connecting with as many different people as you can. You need to set aside any ideological differences in order to do this. You need to accept that certain people in certain parts of the world are not honoring every member of their society. Having compassion for the victims in those parts of the world is easy. Having compassion and forgiving the perpetrators is hard. But that's why you are there on Earth, hardest place to be incarnate in the whole galaxy. You are there to do what seemingly cannot be done, and you are the ones to do it. We know that you can. We believe in you and we know how much you desire to have full ET contact and you want it sooner rather than later. And so we advise you to start spreading the truth that diversity is good, that differences do not in and of themselves separate you and that you can come together as one human race to meet one extraterrestrial race and to show them how unified you are, even with all the diversity that exists there on planet Earth today. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. This was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His website is danielscranton.com. I will post the script to this message below, and you can also find this message as well as many other fine offerings on the Sananda dot website as well as Voyages of Light dot Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>